Let's start with what we did, what we touched on last week, which is at the moment we've, we've been doing this scale up and down, up and down the neck. If I just do a quick recap, if anything, if anything that I, like I say, that I never know what I've said week from week to week. So if there's anything that's not familiar, just stop me and we'll, we'll slow down. So we've had, the, we've, we've done the twinkle, twinkle, little star thing, and the, we've got this scale pattern, which is that. Right, and we've been playing it on, the, on different strings, but um, we're going to use the top string tonight. The main thing that I just wanted to, the, the two things I wanted to emphasise is that it's not just a run of, it's just not a run of eight notes, it's, they're grouped into three. Is that the first one open? That's open, yeah, that's the open string. Yeah, I watched your video, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that's just my careful, you careful <laughs> editing, isn't it, that is, yes, open. But well, it's that, it's, I, I was, yeah, yeah, okay, so, now, so the first one's a paired, even though it's a bit artificial with it being an open string, but bear with me, because we're going to kind of, the payoff's going to come for at least part of this now. Next group is that, which is we got the gap between that's a tone, that's a semitone, that's a tone, right? So it's, so it's no gap, no gap, one gap. I shouldn't, I shouldn't do that, should I? So we've got a, this is a group, and it's got a one gap between it. This is a group of three, it's got a no gap between it and a one gap between it. And this is a group, and this has got a one gap and a no gap, right? That's a re that, so the, re the intervals are reversed in this group. But I'll, I'll put the pair, I'll put that together like that, and I'll put that together like that, and I'll put that together like that. And what we've done in the past, but we're not going to, in the past weeks, just is we've, um, I just ended off the pen now, but we'll find that in a minute. Uh, I've had you playing through that. The, the other thing I want to say about it is, you get you can have a noodle about this just briefly while I'm doing this. Is in order to get from there to there, you basically have to break up your thinking. The most important thing is break up your thinking time and your playing time. And this seems to have worked really well uh, from watching it, everybody play. So what you do is to get from there to there. Even if you, and I know you can play it, but you still follow the same process. You just do it quicker, right? What I don't want you to do is play, just because you've got to give you all this defini definition, I don't want you to still play it stepping stone, stepping stone like that. No, I don't want that. What you do is you treat it as three swimming pools or whatever, are your swimming pools last week? You prepare yourself for your race, you make sure you know the grouping, you, then you decide when you go, you dive in, dong, dong. You get to the start, so you've got a start note of the group as well. Then you go to your second group, you go to your second start now, which is you have to get this distance as well, from the end of the one group to the next. You go in there, you, you make sure you know that group as a string word. When you go, you play dun dun dun, and, re and then repeat. Find your start note, survey the, the group, the word, and play it. Now, you're all probably past that, but I want to emphasize it because what we're going to do tonight is we're going to. We're going to start folding it up into, into a, to, tra um, to transit across the neck rather than up the string. 